All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today we're gonna to be unboxing the Rode Video Micro. So let's take a look. So yeah, today I got the Rode Video Micro for my new camera that I'm recording on right now, the Panasonic G85. And I have the Rode Video Mic Me, which is for cell phones, but I wanted to get one uh, that could plug into this camera as well. So before we open this bad boy, let's take a look at the box. As you can see there, warranty, all that fun stuff. More things on it. I don't know if this one has the little dead cat on there. The, on the back it does, and on the on the side here it does, but it doesn't say anything on if it has it or not. It says it has the mount, but uh, we'll see if it has the puff, hopefully. Worst case scenario, I'll just use the one from the video mic me, but uh, let's, uh, let's find out, huh? All right, let's open this bad boy up with the help of my trusty skizzers. So just a little off the top here, and we should be good to go. There we go. All right, so let's see what's inside. And it does come with a puff ball, huzzah! All right, pull it out, and nothing else in the box, yeet! So here's what it all comes with inside. So as you can see, it does have the puff ball, thank God. <laughs> it does have the little mount right there. And it has the mic buried in there <laughs> underneath that little uh, Zorby pack. But uh, yeah, yeep, don't eat that, kids. So yeah, like I said, it's got the mount, a little shock mount there. Um, that off to the side for now. Got the little connecty cable and quick start guide, product warranty thing that I'm not going to show on camera because reasons. So, anyway, now move all this stuff to the side and get into the piece de resistance. It's the Rode Video Micro. So, it does have a little puff ball. You can just take it off like that. And it looks like that. Pretty, pretty simple, pretty basic. Just a ye olde basic microphone. Got the little input right there. So you just uh, put the little mic inside the puff ball there. It's a very loose fit, so I'm a little, a little worried about that. But hopefully, uh, unless you apply a decent amount of force, it's not going to like fall off. I don't think. Hope not. Anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So I was fiddling around with the mic and there's something important. So it came a little bit loose. Now I got it like really on there, but basically you just have to push it up a little bit. There's like a little notch and you just have to push it a little over the notch. And uh, now this, this dude ain't coming off for nothing. <laughs> so I think we're good to go as far as that goes. So now let's put this bad boy together and let you hear the difference between uh, what you're hearing me on now, which is the, um, the onboard mic for the Panasonic. So let's put this bad boy together. Yeah, and it just fits on that little notch right there. So you just put the, the mount on the notch, and as you can see, boing. And then we'll go ahead and attach the connecty cable to the Panasonic and let y'all hear the difference. So, we'll see you in the next bit. So yeah guys, this is what it sounds like with the Rode Video Micro on. Um, just got done plugging it in and whatnot, and I have it aimed towards me, obviously. <laughs> but it is a directional mic, so if you want to do like real-time voiceover and stuff like that, be sure to like readjust it, like pull it out, and it does fit into the hot shoe mount both ways, so if you don't want to be on camera like this and instead want to like shoot real-time voiceover narration and stuff like that, you can do that, just gotta readjust it and put it back in reverse. Yeah, overall, super pleased with it. Um, I guess the one disadvantage would be that it does obscure a little bit of my uh, articulating screen here, but it's not really too bad. And if I did wanna flip the screen around, I can work around it. I just gotta like push the screen back a little bit and then turn it. So it's a little bit extra leg work, but it's, uh, it's overall not too bad. So let me know what y'all think, I'm really, Looking forward to hearing how this sounds in post and uh, making more videos using it. So, with that said, guys, 
This is the Andy Sign. Signing for now. As always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.